What's up, YouTube? This your main man, AB the Hero, back again with a, another video. And <clears throat> I really wanted to do a quick um, preview of tomorrow's game. The game will be first thing in the morning, um, Eastern time. So it's, I want to say it's, it's at 10 a.m. Eastern time over here in, uh, in Indiana. Um, the game is starts at 1,700 hours over there in Lithuania. That is seven hours ahead of here where I'm at now. So, you know what I'm saying, do the math. It, I, I'm telling you, I struggle with military time, but, you know what I'm saying, we got that figured out. Uh, if you're going to watch the game, it will not be streamed, as far as I know, on Baller's Life. Um, you will have to go. The easiest thing to do is if you go to the – LKL website here where and then they have up here at the top you see they have um a list it'll be V Totas versus um writers Levatas Levos I you know I can't pronounce these names but then you can go there click that and then here where it says broadcast they usually have links to you can actually watch it here on this website and they'll show it being streamed live right there or if that's not working, you can go over to um, Delphi TV, and they already have the the landing page already ready for tomorrow's game. So you can check in there. Um, on the one website, it says 1,720 hours. Over here, it says 1,710. I say be ready at 1,700 just so you don't miss no action. Um, uh, should be an interesting game, man, because... The thing with this righteous team right now, they are the second team in the LKL standings. But they they really pretty much are tied for first, if not in first. They're one game behind Zalgris, who we all know is like the perennial power when it comes to um, uh, LKL basketball. Zalgris also plays in the Euro League, but. Um, in the last three games, Wrights has beaten Zalvers two out of the last three games. So they they got a stick, they got a squad now. And looking at their roster, they have a few American players on the squad, right? But definitely not as many like um, once NBA prospects or, or folks like that. They got a lot of some Division One athletes. Um, as you see just here, as far as Americans go, you got Chris Kramer, who I meant to look this up, but I feel like he is, he, I think he's the guy who, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but that name sounds familiar. I feel like even checking some of these dudes' history, like they, they all sound familiar, but what I think it really is. What I think it um what I think it, it it is is that a lot of these players, because they played in college, they it seemed like they have the same kind of background history, but but you know what I mean, they just kinda all taking the same road to get to the LKL. But uh without digging too deep into all of these different guys, man, um we'll see that there's, there's some talent. This Chris Kramer dude. Um, you check his bio here. Uh, played in the G League for a season or two. Just a season. Um, after playing D1 over at Purdue for four years, moved around, played a little bit everywhere. So they they got some some ball players. It's it's, it's the same thing that we talked about before, where they're not just playing like. Um, anybody you know what i mean like this ain't this is not the the kid at the high school who who they showing up against these are our actual legitimate you know what i'm saying ball players so should be an interesting game man uh i'm gonna leave this video up i i don't know if i'm gonna be watching it uh live because um saturday mornings is basketball mornings here my son he got a uh, basketball his game starts at 10 o'clock so I'll probably be watching his game. Um, I'm not sure though. We gotta travel a little bit to get there, so. But should be interesting. Uh, a couple other things that I want to talk about, man. Um, if you, uh, I don't know if y'all caught this, but your boy Lamelo was the um, was the number one play of the month 
in the LKL. Um, Jello, I think, was 10, and Melo was number one. It was the versus Alvarez when he hit all the threes in a row. Melo was on a fast break dunk. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, there was also an article that came out recently today, which is interesting because it wasn't ran all over ESPN like you think it would have been, where it basically talked about how LeVar Ball in saying that Donald Trump did not do as much as he claimed he had done to get the boys from uh, who were caught up in that UCLA jam um, to get them out of there. It was some proof. And then ESPN came out with a timeline of events. And basically before uh, Donald Trump even said anything, they already had the exit strategy already worked out in so he kind of took credit for things that he really shouldn't have or didn't really have the right to. But you know how that goes with that guy. Um, super interesting article over here at ESPN. Uh, I'll drop the link to that in the description. They pretty much detail everything. Uh, one of the crazy things is that they got busted originally for stealing the, the sunglasses from the Louis Vuitton shop. And they had stole sunglasses from two other places, but what was jacked up is that they were about to be released, and then the other two stores called like, "Yo, we want to report theft as well." So then, as they as it was all done, they were about to be able to go home. Then they got two other charges um, put on them, and then they filed them separately. But they got them all worked out. Uh, the police were cool, man. They had to go to the store in person and return the items the each one of the boys did and apologize which i feel like is dope i feel like I, now i know historically folks have reported and that that's typically not how things are handled all the time over there but i feel like that even that philosophy is something that we could ad adopt here of you know what i'm saying all right now you need to go over here and provide services to somebody specifically uh, all right, um, so so that that's something, man. Check that out. Uh, Jeffrey Walker just hopped in here, man. Uh, it's late, man. So we, uh, what do you say? Where you been, man? I thought you two that geeked you out or something. Laugh a lot, man. You know how it is, man. You know you gotta. What my dog Big Sean say? Um, you gotta bounce back. So that's what we are doing, man. Uh, that's, I, I'm I'm still trying to figure that out. What's going on with that? But you know how it is. But yeah, so I just want to throw this out here, man. Give you y'all you, um, some information on this. I'm going to put the link to where you can watch tomorrow's game in the description. Uh, I'll try to throw that link to the the article about the um, Chinese the China incident in the description as well, and uh, get all that to y'all. But this your main man, ABD Hero. I'm out. Peace.